Thanks for joining us on the special edition of News 4 Tucson at 9. I'm Sean Mooney and I'm Monica Garcia. A 12 year old boy is in trouble with the law after the Pima County Sheriff's Department says he brought a gun to his elementary school. This comes after a mass shooting, of course, that killed four people in Georgia this week. News 4 Tucson's Jafet Serrato is live on the south side of the Pima County Sheriff's Department headquarters. Jafet, how big of a threat was this to the school? Sean and Monica, News for Tucson reached out to Pima County Sheriff Chris Nanos here, who says fortunately the gun was not loaded and that several students went to the principal's office to see that a boy was hiding a gun in his backpack. This all happened yesterday morning at Los Niños Elementary School. You're taking a look at it on your screen right now. It's on the south side, a sunny side unified school. Nano says the 12 year old boy was carrying a 9mm handgun but was not making any threats. When the school found out about this, they called the school resource officer and Pima County deputies came shortly afterwards. The boy's mother was also called to the school. Although there's still more investigation left to be done about this, the sheriff says the real heroes of this story are the kids who spoke up about this. It is my plan to uh, reward them. They're going to know way before any of us do. And if they don't tell us, you see what can happen. So hopefully, maybe that's maybe that's the way we stop all this school violence is finally get these young ones to trust us, to trust their school principals and their teachers that we're we're here to keep you safe, but we can't do it without your help. News for Tucson has obtained the letter sent from Los Niños Elementary Principal Ted T.J. Rodriguez on Wednesday to parents about the incident. The letter reads, As soon as the situation was discovered, we took swift and appropriate action. Law enforcement was immediately contacted. The student was removed from class and the weapon was seized. It goes on to say, Although the incident occurred during school, the instructional day was not disrupted, nor was there a need for a lockdown. When News for Tucson reached out to Chris Nanos and asked him if the parents could be charged in all this, he didn't rule it out, but he says a further investigation would be required to figure that out. It's also unknown if the 12-year-old boy is going to be expelled from Los Niños Elementary School. Live on the South Side, Petserado News for Tucson. Thank you, Jafet. And to watch our full interview with Sheriff Chris Nanos, just head to our YouTube page, News 4 Tucson KVOA TV. Well, it happened the same day.